Your bike's here. You happy? Look at that. All right, guys, welcome to the channel. So today we just got our uh, our first e-bike. We got the Rad uh, Rad Power Rad Runner bike right here. Just arrived. Here's the box. Took about I don't know. A couple of days, maybe a week. <laughs> Took about a week for, for us to get it, real quick. Luckily enough, uh, we were lucky enough to get in on one of the first batches. So uh, we're gonna put it together and uh, walk you guys through it. Hopefully it won't take too long, so let's get to it. I do have a tick pick here, so let's uh, let's see what we got. Hopefully I won't need too many tools. Right, but, so what I need you to do is help me collect all the things so we can throw it out. Or you can put it in the garbage. Nice. It's always good to have a helper. Okay, let's check it out. Got some foam. Some inside. Nice foam wrapping. Oh, I've got it out. All right. Boom. Boom. All right, so. The pedals. I see the wheel. See wheels? What else you see? This is the wheel. Mm-hmm. Got wheel. Yeah. Uh, got the whole frame, so oh, we got one wheel on. Oh, this holding the wheels. Mm-hmm. got all right, so everything's kind of wrapped seat? in foam here. Really good. Looks like it's well packaged. Nothing. And there's protectors on the uh, on the hub there, on the axle, to keep it from hitting and, and a nice kind of plastic. Keep it from breaking through the box, looks like. Wires, another protective thing down there. Okay, so let's, um, let's pull this thing out. Let's see, there's a box down here. Here, can you hold this knife? Don't take it out. All right, let's pull this out first. All right, so might be a good idea to put this on the ground so you can put the bike down on a nice surface. All right. Okay. Okay, this looks like the bottom. Daddy, there's instructions. All right. There are instructions where? Down there. Ugh. A little piece of paper. These aren't instructions. It's a packing, packing slip. It just says I got one bike. I don't think you could fit more than one bike in a box, but here you go. You can hold on. To so we got a bunch of uh, foam and things. I'll have to kick out. And there are a million zip ties. All right. Let's go with these wire cutters here. Wires. Okay. Some pretty beefy. No, be careful. No, not around the tires, but I don't know if you could cut anything with those little scissors, son. Let's take off the wheel. Ah, these ones. Maybe I should get sharper wire cutters. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, son, why don't you come here? Why don't you come here and help me? Why don't you hold the wheel so it doesn't fall down, okay? No, no, come over on the other side. Hold the wheel up. Tires definitely need air. That's okay. Man, these are really these are really thick. And I'll get to the other mark, the other big uh, zip tie back here. These are like quarter inch zip ties. All right, got it. Thank you. Okay, so here's one wheel. So we see the plastic kind of protective covering for the axle. So I'm gonna use that and lay it on the ground. See, Pretty nice. I know I could cut something. Nice Tektro brakes. Custom wheels. Okay, hey, 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 don't touch the frame with this, is it? Why don't you come, always go on the outside, all right, buddy? Actually, let me open up this, this brown box here, see if there's any. Something I should be reading first. I'm sure, you guys. Oh, yeah, okay. It's quite an array of accessories in here. So, we got a headlight. Put that to the side. We got a uh, owner's manual. Foot pegs. There's 
There is a oh a charger. Uh, toolkit. Okay. Inside the toolkit, we got a bunch of tools. Hopefully, this would be everything I need to assemble the bike. That'd be nice. Let's try that. Toolkit and looks like some kind of clamp thing maybe for the handlebars we'll find out and that's all in the box all right so let's set this aside thick zip ties all the other reviews i've seen with these bikes it was already assembled couldn't find anything anybody unboxing it or putting it together so hope you guys enjoy this Pretty nice. I don't see any defects or scratches. So far, everything looks good. What's this? So my strategy is probably actually. Let's see if the owner's manual has this ready. No, why? Oh, to be bloody. I accidentally hit myself on the um, bike. Let's see. Thank you. You okay? Oh, you hit yourself right now. Yeah. All right. Blah blah blah. Assembly. Blah, blah, blah. Correct assembly. Hmm. Okay, there's a picture of it assembled. Uh, okay, step one unpack the bike. That's what we're Okay. Doing. With the help of another person capable of safely lifting a heavy object. Ha! I got these. Okay. Yeah, I, <laughs> show I should be quiet. Soul. All right. Um. Make sure that there is keys. Keys? Did I get keys? Where are the keys at? Okay, I'm gonna have to look for the keys. A charger, assembly toolkit, pedals. So where are the keys? Where are the keys? Pedals, assembly toolkit, charger. I don't see any keys. No keys. Just a key. Oh, there are the keys. The keys are zip tied to the handlebars. All right, good thing I looked at the manual. Wait, do I need a Says the first thing you should do is install the handlebar on the stem. Daddy, do I need a As shown the in the keys? assembly video. Oh, assembly video. Okay. And then you install the pedals, and you inflate the tires. When does it say to install the tire though? Adjust the headlight angle. And they missed the step here. They didn't say put on the front tire. Um, it says prop the bike on the kickstand. All right, so maybe we should do that. That's probably a good idea. I want a kickstand. All right. I know you do. Okay, so let's figure this out. So there's a kickstand down here. So let's prop the bike up on this, bud. Hey, I'm still cutting it. Yeah, see? That makes it easier. So now that, now it's standing up on its own, right? It won't fall over. On me. Yeah. So just put the front wheel on. Yes. Guessing I have to unlock the front wheel here. I'm going to take off this platform, pull this safety platform off, I've taken a front wheel off a bike one time or another, it's all the same, all right, so regarding my bike experience, I've never had an e-bike, but I have Messed around a little bit. So when you take these nuts off the axle, make sure there's a little spring. Make sure you know what orientation the spring is. Put it down so you know where it is. So you're gonna need to put it back exactly how you took it off. Really tight. Nothing else going on. 
Spacers, I might need those. So, oh, actually, I might not need those. It's like a metal axle on here, but it's bent. So, hopefully, I won't have to use that. That's probably why it wasn't coming out. Okay, so we put the wheel on. This already has an axle on it and a nut. That's what we put on the bike. So wherever the brake caliper is, you want that where the front brake is here. Hey bud, we need to take this off first. It'll be easier if we take this off. And if you so, have to save the e-bike, you can just put the foam through here. If it's not thick, or you could just space, or you could just brace it out sure like a trash can. Yes, make sure you take the make sure you take the plastic caps off of the uh, wheel first. Okay, so what we have here, okay, that fits in nicely right through the rotor. We want to make sure that brake rotor goes right through the brake pads. So now I'm going to get the axle, or uh, I'm sorry, this lock axle lock thing axle bolt axle rod axle rod pop that through the axle and then my nut with the spring on the other side and then screw that back on so oops right, these are fun Get that lined up. Hey, bud, can you come over here for a second and give me a hand? Okay. I need you to hold this nut over here. A nut? Uh, this guy. I need you to hold that. And then I'm going to turn this guy. Okay. I'm going to put the uh, axle all the way to the top. Top of the uh, dropout here. I guess that's what it's called, right? The wheel's all the way to the top, and it's not, it's getting good contact with the rotor. Looks like the brake pad is covering the rotor well enough. And then, screw it in, and lock it up. Okay, so that wheel is now on. And next, we tackle the handlebar. So Red Runner, if you're watching, your instructions miss the step where you put the front wheel on. All right, I'm sure it's on your video. I probably should have watched that video first. It would have helped if you sent me a link. A link to the video to all you people that purchased the bike online. All right. So, hey bud, I need your help again. Okay, hold, okay, put that away. Then hold this handlebar up. It's always good to have a Set of handy hands. Oh, hold it up, case, okay, because it's not connected. All right, so I'm gonna get the stem, uh, stem thing. All right. Not stem toys for kids. I don't know what this stuff is called. Not stem toys. <laughs> Science, technology. Okay, so there's this. There's a weird little black part. So it looks like, looks like you put, usually how these go is you have a nut and then you have a lock washer. You, you put those together first, and then put those in. So I'm gonna see if the toolbox should, or the tool bag should have an Allen wrench for me, the right size I'm guessing. 
see, this one. Ooh, matches. First try. Okay. So, the direction looks like it's doesn't matter. You want to line up the uh, corrugated kind of groove things where you want it. I'm sure I'm going to lose one of these one of these bolts here. And then you just try to get each bolt lightly threaded in so they don't fall out. And then you could adjust the handlebar the way you want it, I'm guessing. Yeah. All right, so you have a bolt here. So when you're tightening this top thing, I started with one corner and then just go a little bit, like a couple turns, and then you go to opposite corner and then you go up here and then here. So that way the whole thing kind of tightens uniformly and evenly. All right, so you just keep doing that until it's tight enough. Go. Yeah, I know. So, okay, saggy, droopy bars. All right. So the angle I think we'll go with is yeah, that looks nice. And let's check out the battery. Okay, so. Excuse me, Daddy. Uh, sure, bud. Alright, let's check out the battery here. Okay, put the camera in an angle. Okay, so let's press this button and see what happens. I'm guessing if you press this, it'll tell you to charge level. Eeks. Darn, no charge. Alright, I guess we gotta charge it. Oh, maybe you gotta turn it on? Let's try that. Let's get the key. Sure you don't lose the keys. Well, Did I lose the keys? Right. I put it down here. I thought I put it down here somewhere. Oh, they were in my pocket. All right, let's see. So it's like in this kind of off mode, I'm guessing. I can't read this. Push. This looks like an on mode. All right, that looks like a power button there. Let's see this out. Oh, yeah. Okay, so there. So now I got. So you have to hold down the button. If you let go, it turns off. So we got a red light and two green lights. Okay. So it was in this kind of middle thing. Can't really make out what kind of picture that is. It's like an X or I don't know. And then it looks like some kind of lock. So I guess to get from here to here, you got to push in with the key. Um, ignition. What does that do? Oh, maybe that's just a description for the thing in general. Okay, so let's leave it in power mode. Actually, I'm just gonna leave the key inside so I don't lose it in my pocket again. All right, uh, yeah, that's right. I gotta put the uh, foot pegs on. Okay, usually foot pegs are... Okay, usually foot pegs are... Uh, I took it out, but... Yeah. All right, so these are plastic foot pegs. Very standard. Kind of stuff I put on my BMX bike. I do have a BMX bike, because I thought that it would be fun with the kids, and I could learn how to do tricks, and I almost broke my leg, so I just ride it around like a normal bike. Okay, so pedals, these are pretty easy. You just kind of thread it in there. Are they, you're kind of greased up. So oh, they go reverse thread. So righty tighty, lefty loosey, and then you gotta go lefty tighty. I'm guessing. Or is it the other side? I keep forgetting. All right, so depending on what side you're at. On the right side of the bike, all right, so it looks like I need a wrench. Does red power give me a wrench? Oh, they give me all kinds of wrenches. That's nice. These are nice. Yeah, check that out. Cooking with gas, right, buddy? 
Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's tight. That's not going anywhere. Okay, let's get play. Let's put the other side. Now, I believe the other side is opposite threaded. Let's confirm my suspicion. Yes, my suspicion is correct. Oh. Opposite threaded on the left side of the bike. Okay, so the chain. Let's clean it. There's already grease on it. Looks like it's lubed. Looks like it's ready to go. There's some, uh, I see some shiny on the uh, sprocket. Let's take a closer look at this. Okay. All right. Yeah, so hopefully you can see it's already lubricated enough. I'm not gonna mess with it. Okay. There's a chain guard here, that's pretty cool. So there's some uh, holes for accessories. Oh yeah, can't ride with this thing. Yeah, that's pretty cool. You could use that. You could actually use that to keep the bike up. Um, let's see, anything else I forgot to take off? Everything plugged in. There was a connector that didn't seem to plug in. Hey guys, shh. hey, you guys are so loud. There's this connector here. It's not attached to anything. I don't know what it's for. Let's see. Up here there's like a rubber grommet that appears to have come out. I think it's supposed to go in this hole. So I'll put the camera down and fix that. And then we need to put the headlight on. Let's fix this guy. Daddy, look, I'm done. Yeah, you definitely want to make sure this rubber piece is in there. Hi, Daddy! Hey, bud. Logan, let's see if All right. we're getting meat horses done. So, because those metal ledges are pretty sharp, and you don't want these wires to get shaped off okay so there's four bolts here i think that's for the front basket no need to touch that see the headlight goes in the bottom oh that's what the red connector for the headlight yes 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 that makes sense it is red okay <laughs> my son just said daddy's talking to nobody that's funny i'm talking to all of you guys all right power is provided me with the tools necessary to complete this installation. I have utter and complete confidence in that. Yes, proper size Allen wrench. I just need a wrench for the nut on the opposite side. First try. All right. Yes. Oh man, I wish I had that extra pair of extra small kid hands to hold this headlight up. Now, I gotta use my dexterity and willpower. Okay. That's tight enough for a headlight. And this can use adjusting as well. Looks like it uses the same. No, it doesn't. I need a different Allen wrench. Can't have it all, can you? All right, so this guy, let's find a nice way to connect them. And there's nice arrows to tell you if you screwed up or not. Okay, that's plugged in. Now, remove plastic. I will. Okay, I still should tighten that a little bit. Okay. 
that's tight. And there is no plastic on the brake light. And I believe that's all she wrote. So, for you guys at home, guys and gals, dads, moms, if you don't have an air compressor, you should get one. So you can inflate tires quickly. And on occasion, use a nail gun. 30 PSI. That's nothing. So let's do some safety checks. I want to make sure the rear brakes work. Oh, that was the front brake. Okay, so the left is the front brake. The right is the rear brake. So I'm going to spin the wheel. Make sure the brakes are stopping. Alright, that's a safety check. Let's make sure that everything's smooth. Okay. Let's try to turn this bad boy on. Okay, so let's turn the power to on. And let's see if how intuitive this is. Okay, power. Pedal assist, oh, oh battery. We've got four bar on the battery. Um, huh, okay, let's leave that. What is this thing? Oh, oh that's a nice touch. A little dinky bell. It's kind of built in. I like how it's integrated. Not like an add-on, like something over here. All right, so let's Let's put pedal assist to two. I've never rode an electric bike before. Oh, headlights. Let's see if the headlights work. Hmm. The rear light's on. Front light is not engaged. Hmm. Uh oh. All right, we'll have to check on that. Okay, so let's uh, try for a spin. Step through, bring it. this out folks at home there's a switch there's a auxiliary switch on the headlight itself does that map with this guy it does it does all right hi with mode of operations so first there is a key on here look so there's an uh, power on thing make sure the key is in power on I don't know if you have to leave the key in. No, you don't have to. All right. And then there's a power button. So like you press the power button, I'll turn the bike on. And these are the modes of pedal assist. Okay, so I'll leave it at one. So what happens is when you turn the pedal, it's gonna give you a super boost. All right. So, so to put the kickstand down, put your left foot in front of it and then push the bike forward. Hold on to the bike while you do it. Yeah, you got to give it a nice shove. Boom, nice, good job. So you now you could you could step through right foot. You could, you could step through. Oh, look at, look at this. <laughs> Holy. What are you? 
know what just happened. What? It just <laughs> put your foot through here. What? Oh, wait. It took off on you? Yeah, I didn't do <laughs> anything. Okay, so when you were holding, there's, there's a throttle here. Oh. <laughs> okay, wait. don't be careful with this. So when you, if you, tw if you twist this. Well, you didn't tell me well, that. Well, I was going to get to I thought you were just going get sure. to get in the bike this way. Well, you need to be. All right. There's a it's throttle here. Too high for me. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay, hold on, hold on. All right, it literally took me five seconds to lower the seat. I didn't, I forgot about that. All right, so. No throttle. Yeah, so the twist throttle's here. This is this All section. Right. Look, right. look, look, it's this section. Okay. Okay, so just try Whoa. pedaling first. Why does it have four right here? Huh? It's happening. No, that's the battery. Oh. Okay. okay, so just start pedaling and you'll feel it kick. And then the brakes are in the front there. Now start pedaling. Yeah, Be careful. You know how to ride a bike, right? <laughs> yeah, just start pedaling. Can you pedal okay? Yeah, it doesn't work. Huh? I don't even really have to do anything. Yeah. That's light pedal assist. So get used to it and then we'll boost up the the power.